What's up guys, it's Mike here with Grow Indoor 365. Thank you so much for joining me today. Let's fix this contrast. Today is May 8th. I love May 8th, it's a beautiful day outside. I hope everybody here is doing well. Again, once again, I am a little late on the uh, videos, but again, I wanted to have some stuff to actually uh, to show you. There's been a, a huge transition, as you can see, in the entire tent. Also right here, no more tent. Remember there was a tent there? Well, that didn't work out, and uh, it was more of an annoyance than actually helping me in any which way. As you can see here, I kind of been moving things around. I got all my uh, all my tubs cleaned up. I mean, God, it was such a mess in some of the latest videos here. Um, whew, cleaning it was a pain. I literally uh, one of these days I'm going to I'm going to show you guys. Let me actually turn this camera around. I have no idea how this is going to look. I really have no idea how this is gonna look. But uh, one of these days I'm literally going to show you guys what I have to do to clean the, the inside of the tent. It's not fun, okay? It's not fun at all. It's actually, it's so hectic. God, talking to the camera is pretty difficult like this. I don't even know what it looks. I'm, it's so confusing. Um, let me just do POV, POV view for now. Um, if, if anything down the line, I could switch it back. Uh, so confused what I want to do here. I mean, I have all this lettuce. This is all about to get transitioned into the tubs today. Okay, that's why I have some of the tubs here. I also have some, uh, I also have some other lettuce that's about to happen. I got some basil that's about to happen. It's summertime. We got the tomatoes. We got, I need that fresh basil. I want to do, you know, fresh tomato mozzarella and the basil. Oh my God. That is literally a lot. That's incredible. I'm like super stoked. Um, probably is a good time to germinate right now um, some watermelon because I want to plant it uh, probably outside my, at my parents' house uh, down the shore. I've been thinking about plant. What what can I plant out here? Uh, this is my backyard. Now I could plant a bunch of stuff, but God knows what happens. Uh, you know, from, God, the windows are kind of dirty. This is the back window where all the craziness happens. But, uh, grass is looking real good. You know, I, I, I just don't get that much sun. But also at times, I just don't know if you really need that much sun to really grow some of the produce that I want. I actually ran into a guy this weekend at, like, Lowe's. If some of you are not familiar with Lowe's, it's like a huge department. It's like a huge um, gardening and kind of store that you know it's got wood tools it's that type of store and he he buys just like a regular tomato plant he buys two of them puts them into his actual ground and it's like uh it's it, you know it goes it's good one year and that's it he just takes them out of the uh i think it's, that's perennials um he he takes them out of the, he puts them in the ground they grow he gets tomatoes he loves it they kind of like you know grow around his trellis and then after that he just throws them out after they're done which I think is amazing and I kind of want to do that but I can't I there's no way that I could do that to my grass I mean you guys don't understand what I had to do to this grass to get it like this when I moved into this house approximately six years ago the entire backyard was covered in wood chip all right so here is what I got here, some beautiful lettuce. Ah, it's looking beautiful, it's looking real good. Got some really nice roots going on. So, but going back to uh, the outside, I can't, be, I can't be putting any vegetables in the ground. It's just too crazy. Man, the roots are growing real well. This is probably a few days behind of having to be put into, um, into uh, the water. You know, what actually needs to happen here, everything was getting washed recently. Ugh. Washing this stuff is like the biggest headache. That's one of the biggest downfalls of truly maintaining your own grow. It's my little uh, stash box. This is where I keep a ton of stuff. Got your little, uh, got your little plugs that, that, that hold the um, aerator. Got an old uh, air pump. I might have to do a raffle on this air pump just to kind of like give it away. I'll never use it again because it's just not satisfactory to my type of grow. Take this chopstick, I kind of, you see how this guy, he outgrew, he like kind of grew a little too high. So what I do is I, as you, just let me get a little closer. As you can see, in situations like this, 
what you want to do is gently, I mean unfortunately you could do a lot more damage than good by doing it this way but there's really no other way and I kind of just gently push it down hoping to um, hoping to just get it in there now I don't know what's going to happen honestly did I just, nope there's not much you can do you, it's just, he's just falling over but I'll tell you this as soon as uh, the oxygen starts coming as soon as that, oh my god, look at this root system. That's what I'm saying. These are, these are a little late on being transitioned. That's why they have to immediately get transitioned into the water. You won't believe it. And I probably in like three days, the entire, all of the roots will settle right through the rock wool and everything. I'm making a habit actually. I wanted to show you guys what I'm actually doing now. I really want to make one of those uh, drip systems. Because those are so much, um, they're just they're they're just really good. They're really good for saving water as well as allowing that root to hit the bottom. You know, before I would take this net pod, fill it with just a little bit of rock, and this will give it. You know, the reason why we use the clay pebbles, okay, the um, the clay pebbles, the hydrotone, we use that so that it stabilizes this, which is our growing medium. Okay, so let me just, oh my God, look at the, what in the world? That is crazy. Look at this root system. These are so, these are just a little too old. Now I used to um, put some rock down at the bottom, but I also, of course, we put rock around the sides. So in this case, you know, what I found best is when this is sitting in here and that this bottom base could actually touch the water, that means this entire bottom okay it starts soaking up the water that is so important this growing medium okay this growing medium right here starts to absorb water much faster and then the root system just kind of goes down through the net pod really really fast which is exactly what you want because you need that root to touch the water that's why when I was talking about the drip systems taking a PVC pipe and it just kind of goes along and you have your pods like this and as soon as you you don't even have to do anything so when when all you got to do is take your growing medium just like this with the roots already going you put it inside of some sort of net pod but it or somehow you position it where the roots will basically sit along a stream of water and consistently have a flowing amount of water hitting that root system with the proper amount of nutrients it's a very nice, actually it's called a flow system, it's not a drip system, it's a flow system, it's really nice. My head's not where it's supposed to be today, but I just wanted to give you guys a quick glimpse inside the tent. I'm going to, uh, I found some really cool stuff, uh, some, uh, some kind of, um, a few systems that I think would be useful for some amateurs that are, you know, it, if this is your first time finding a video of one of mine, uh, I just want to introduce myself. My name is Michael. I am an indoor gardener. I do primarily hydroponics. Uh, down below, make sure to hit the like button. Make sure to give me the thumbs up. And make sure to subscribe because this way we get notifications every single time I upload a video. you got to hit that bell. Because when you subscribe down at the bottom, you got to hit the bell also. That will turn on the notification. And only when I upload a video, you will be notified in regards to that. And also, all the stuff that I use to maintain my entire grow is all at the bottom. So make sure to hit those links and check it out because I want you growing like me. Guys, please support me on the Facebook. All right? The link is down below. Make sure to hit the link. Make sure to go to the Facebook channel. I want to see you guys on there. I'm not seeing anybody. Like, are you guys actually growing? You know, I, we get so many views and, and a lot of subscribers are continuously subscribing to the channel, which is awesome. But I want to know, has anybody... I'm sure there's plenty of you because a ton of you hit me up on Facebook asking for advice and you have questions and you know you show me some pictures but I mean it's it's like it's a few you know we have thousands of subscribers on this YouTube channel there's just a few people that contact me and reach out and say hey this is what's currently going on with my grow I'm wondering why I'm using so and so nutrients I'm using so and so seed this is my current setup and I well, you know what when I have time I always respond and I love to engage with you guys because look, I think it's very important in today's age with Listeria, with E. coli, oh my God, my wife won't even go to Salad Works or anywhere because she's afraid of the romaine lettuce and she has all right to be. Okay, I'm also afraid of it. I haven't eaten romaine lettuce in a minute. I'm using, I'm doing, I'm primarily eating like spring mixed greens because 
all this craziness that's going on um, around the country around lettuce and it's just it's not even just lettuce it's just not even just romaine lettuce it's food in general it's the way that things are grown it's it's how long they take to travel it's how many times they've been frozen it's getting crazy you need to learn okay if there is a few things a few things. I'm not saying this is the most important thing, but let me tell you, when things go crazy in the world and one of the most important things is food, you're going to probably want to know how to grow your own food, how to grow your own lettuce, how to maintain a grow like this. Because the more I think about it, with some sort of solar or a turbine, listen, I don't know the details of it, but I'm sure there's ways to power something like this to maintain a grow system. Okay, I'm not sure about how to get the proper water. Uh, but there's definitely things around certain things that you could figure out. But listen, this isn't a survival guide. All I'm saying is it's really cool and awesome to be able to grow your own veg, beautiful lettuce, come over here and snip it for dinner and have it. But also, God knows, God forbid, anything happens in the world, uh, you, you know, you're, you'd be like the brain surgeon knowing, you know, it's like equivalent to a brain surgeon if you knew how to grow food. You'd be that guy. You'd probably have a crown and maybe a large seat to sit on because you'd be like the king of the town because you'd be the guru of knowing how to grow food. You know, this this stuff, this is a little bit of lettuce. I mean, I can go through this quick, but it's all about continuously replicating and doing more. Just like in past videos that I showed you guys how I replicated a single basil plant into two, but I could easily do it two, three, four, five. From one plant, I showed you guys how to clone it. You know what I mean? I showed you guys how to create these tubs, and these tubs are available in the links down below, as well as this air pump, as well as the tubing, as well as the net pods, as well as the growing medium. That's the the, the dry the, the rock wool, and also even the lights, the stand. Everything is available, and you need this to maintain a quality grow. Now, you don't always need it to maintain just a simple grow, but this is what it looks like, and this is how I do it. So in the next video, probably in the next uh, week or so, you're going to see I'm going to line this whole thing up, and this is there's going to be three containers here with all this lettuce here, and that's going to probably happen today. And then I'm going to get the bottom here with three containers as well as fresh lettuce and basil and any other herbs that I'm thinking about growing indoors. I'm not sure. And uh, the summer's here, guys. I mean, it's right around the corner, you know, uh, and I'm going to be setting up different grows spontaneously, like in my parents' backyard and, and at the, you know, my family down the shore and stuff like that. So plenty of videos to come. I'm really excited. Make sure you hit the subscribe button, guys. Make sure to hit the bell and make sure to hit the links down below. If you're looking to grow like me, this is Mike with Grow Indoors 365 signing off. See you guys later. Any questions, make sure to hit him down in the comment area.